Welcome to Medicine in 3 Minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is briefly made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. The topic today is pharyngeal muscles. Before we deal with this muscle, you have to understand the position of the pharynx first. Here's the oral cavity, here's the nasal cavity. Behind the oral and the nasal cavity, there is a pharynx. And above the pharynx, there is esophagus. And uh, above the, cavity, uh, the nasal cavity, there is a larynx in trachea. The pharynx include three parts. The first one is the nasopharynx. The second one is the oropharynx. And the third one is the hypopharynx. What is the role of, of, uh, of muscle of the pharynx? Pharynx muscle determine the shape or, and the lumen of the pharynx. They affect the sound property as primary resonating cavity. The contraction of pharynx muscle push the food uh, down into the esophagus. The pharynx is formed by two muscle layers outer circular layer and longitudinal layer. The outer circular layer includes superior constrictor, middle constrictor, and inferior, inferior constrictor. During swallowing, they push the bodies down as involuntary process. To understand the topography of muscles, we have first to learn about some landmarks. First of all, the larynx include yoid boy, thyroid cartilage, and cricoid cartilage. The zygomatic arc includes styloid process, pharyngeal process, and pterygoid process. From the pterygoid process, there is a ligament come into the mandibule, and this ligament is called pterygomandibular ligament. From the styloid process to the yoid bone, there is a ligament, and this ligament is the styloyoido ligament. From the pharyngeal tubercle, there is a ligament coming like this. It's the medial pharyngeal ligament, the superior constrictor muscle. It's originate, there is two landmarks for its origin. The first one is the pterygoid process, and the second one is the pterygomandibular ligament. Pterygoid process, pterygomandibular ligament. The muscle originates from these two and goes to the medial pharyngeal ligament. This is the superior constrictor muscle. The middle constrictor muscle originates from the yoid bone and goes to the pharyngeal uh, uh, to the medial pharyngeal ligament. The inferior constrictor muscle includes two parts. The first one is the tyropharyngeus muscle, and the second one is the cricopharyngeus muscle. Here's the thyroid cartilage, here's the cricoid cartilage. The muscle that connects the thyroid cartilage to the medial pharyngeal ligament is the tyropharyngeus muscle. And the muscle that connects the cricoid cartilage to the medial pharyngeal ligament is the cricopharyngeal muscles. Otherwise, two muscles to constitute the inferior constrictor muscles. Structure between the base of the skull and the superior constrictor muscles, here it is, this structure includes three elements. The first one is the eustachian tube. The second one is the tensor palatine muscle, and the, second, the third one 
is ascending palatine artery. A second space to learn about is the structure between the superior constrictor, here it is, and the middle constrictor, here it is, this space between both of them. There is, it is limited by the steroid ligament. Inside the space, there is a crossing of the glossopharyngeal nerve or nine pelt. Between the middle constrictor and the tiro-pharyngeus muscle, there is a space, and this space is occupied by internal laryngeal nerve, a branch of the vagus nerve, and superior laryngeal artery. There is a tiny space between the middle constrictor muscle uh, there is a tiny space between the chiroidopharyngeus muscle and the cricopharyngeus muscle. This space is occupied by external laryngeal nerve, a branch of vagus nerve, and the inferior laryngeal artery. Let's pick up between the superior constrictor and the middle constrictor, there is the glossopharyngeal nerve between the middle constrictor and the tiropharyngeus muscle there is two elements the internal laryngeal nerve and the superior laryngeal artery and between the tiroidopharyngeus muscle and the cricopharyngeus muscle there is a tiny space occupied by the external laryngeal nerve in the inferior laryngeal artery. What about longitudinal muscle of the pharynx? Actually, there are three muscles. The first one is the stylopharyngeus. The second one is the salpingopharyngeus. And the third one is the palatopharyngeus. All these muscles are innervated by the vacuous nerve except the stylopharyngeus muscle, which is innervated by the glossopharyngeal nerve number nine. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in Three Minutes. Click the like button and subscribe. Your uh, comments are appreciated. Thank you.